Well, hey everybody, it's three o'clock. Time for Breaking Bread with Nanny Bubby. And actually today, I'm going to be giving you just a very quick, short Nanny Bubby tidbit. So I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day, and if you were celebrating a mother, meaning that you were not a mother yourself, but a dad or a son or something of that nature, I hope that the day was really great for absolutely everybody. I should move this out of our shot, right? That's my husband's um, drink that he leaves downstairs occasionally. So listen, I was listening to a podcast that I was interviewed on. It was uh, uh, Colette's Brown, Colette Brown's Limitless Healing Podcast, which I really, really suggest that all of you listen to and enjoy. Um, and in that broadcast, she was talking about how I had taught her some ridiculous little tidbit that I think everybody actually knows. So if you can see here, I have several, put this on picture and picture here. If you can see, I've got several of these fabulous uh, Bubby's pickles, not named after me in any way. I like these pickles. I guess I might as well give a plug for the pickles. I like these pickles because they are naturally fermented. They're not dill pickles. They're, um, they're actually, um, I guess she calls them dill. They're, yeah, they're kosher dill, but the process, they're not sour pickles or pickled pickles. They're actually dill, but they only have water, vinegar, and seasoning in it. I'm sorry, let me take that back. Water, salt, and seasoning. And that what is what makes them a sincere fermented vegetable. And the truth is, is that if you're looking for gut health, something that Colette talked about in our podcast together, is that anything fermented is a way to strengthen your gut and get that gut brain connection going so that you feel alive and healthy and the microbiome of your stomach is feeling better. So let me go back here to this camera and tell you that what we're gonna do is, and what Colette and I talked about actually, is how I taught her how to open a jar. And it's the simplest thing you'll ever see. So this is actually a Nanny Bubby tidbit. So if you're ready, let me just show you. I'll do it a couple times. Let me go to this tight shot camera. There we go. Okay, so of course you have to take off this plastic around here. Let me do that. Taking off the plastic. That's the first step. Although I have done this because I'm the most impatient human being you'll ever meet in your life. And sometimes I do it without all the plastic coming off. So let me, it still did not come off. I actually need to use a sharp knife or something sharp to get it off. But anyway, I think it's good. So as you know, you may take it and you may go like this and try to open it, try to open it, try to open it, and it won't open. Here's the Nanny Bubby tidbit, ready? You take a butter knife, there we go, the back of a butter knife right here, all right, and you take it and you just, on the very edge of it, and you'll listen, I'm going to come close with my mic so you can hear it, you take it and go whack. Now sometimes you'll hear it pop, but after you've whacked it like that, it just lifts right off, okay? Did you all get that? See the plastic is still on here. Let's see if we can lift it up. There we go. Plastic came off. That's it. Okay. One more time. You ready for that one more time? The really great news about all of these pickles is that they're fermented. They last in the refrigerator forever. So I'm not concerned about opening all of these jars of pickles that I have here for you guys to see how to open it. So let's see if anybody's here and watching. And so I can answer any of your questions or if you are actually um, coming in and um, let's see who's here. There we go. Swipe to see who's chatting. And it's not, there we go. It's not actually loading. So let me go back the other way. I think I always go the wrong way. So Jennifer Tuttle is here. There we go, Jennifer. Let me look you in the eye and say hello, thanks for being here. Have you ever actually known about this trick about opening a jar? So you'll have to tell me that. So let's go back to the tight shot here 
and let me go in and lift out the plastic, maybe doing a better job this time than I did last time. There we go. And let's pull this all the way down there. Off comes the plastic. Okay, you can work on this forever and always, trying to get it open. No matter how much you squeeze, it's so tight, you gotta find a man, you gotta go outside. You need one of those rubber things to get it off when really all you need, once again, is the back of a butter knife. That's it, back of a butter knife. And it is, tilt it just a little bit so you can get the edge. And it's one, two, three, four. Slides right off like nothing. So that's it. That's my Nanny Bubby tidbit today for all to see and enjoy. Um, if you would like, I just want to remind you that you can see, oh, Mike Herndon is here. Hey, Mike, nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Um, talking about a Nanny Bubby tidbit about how to open jars. So sometimes they're on so tight. And even when your woman comes to you and says, Mike, will you open this for me? You may not be able to. You can use that knife bit. Uh, and sometimes if you've got some of those little pop jars, you'll hear it go pop and it just opens up and comes right off. So let's see, anybody else? Tom Letizia is here. Um, hi, Nanny Bubby, there you go. And wow, Jennifer says, so that's it. That's Nanny Bubby tidbit. Just reminding you, if you wanna download the Happy Kitchen, which is the Happy Spice Cabinet, the Happy Fridge, and the Happy Pantry, go to nannybubby.com slash happy kitchen and for $7.99 you can download the whole thing people are giving it to those they know that are moving into their first houses or into an apartment for the first time and it's everything you will ever need to stock your kitchen so you can cook just about every recipe so let me see if i can pull up that happy kitchen for you nope well i can pull up that for some reason i couldn't pull that up today but nonetheless i hope that um you go and download it. Also, here is the shopping list. If you would like a copy of the free shopping list, and this is free to all my viewers, go to nannybubby.com slash F as in face, B as in book, live, FB live. And you can get and download, download your free copy of the happy um, shopping list. <laughs> and you can buy the happy kitchen. I'm gonna get that all out the right time for the first time at some point correctly. That's it for today. Reminding you to go out and spread love like butter. Bye everybody, have a great day.